Alright, so I was not able to continue my uh, previous video because I wanted to wait, give plenty of time. Um, wow, I can still feel uh, a fair amount of heat coming off that, and I think it's been around 15 minutes since uh, I stepped away from this. And so, right now, I'm going to see how warm that is, just on the surface. Yeah, yeah around 60 right there on the surface, so I imagine it's still quite hot down towards the bottom because it's uh, well insulated there's some beads of uh... yeah sorry portable camera angles by Matt Wilson all right it came out in one solid piece for the most part so inside here, it did not burn all the way through. So there's gonna be some of uh, the aluminum oxide and uh, chromium oxide mixed left. So we might actually have a chance at seeing some red material. I've also got my black light flashlight here. Weird. The iron looks a little bit blue. That I could see that's what happened yesterday, and I thought uh, maybe I uh, had grub uh, or mislabeled one of my bottles with the the sapphire mix. Why is it? I'm gonna try to focus it. That lock it. No, lock. All right. Well, focus doesn't work. I wanted to show. I don't even think you can pick that up. No, not even with the light. Maybe. I don't know. It looks a little blue, but it's ruby mix, so it should be red. So now what we're going to do is shine the UV light on it. And, you know, yeah, it brightens up a bit, but I don't see any pink or, yeah, bright red spots. Yeah, nothing in there either. I was really hoping uh, thermite might be an interesting way to get some of the oxide mixed to, to fuse together and make you know extremely, incredibly crude um, red corundum, which would be you know basically ruby, although really crap ruby, but. Still, anyhow, I just wanted to test this method out. I can actually see a tiny bit of pink there. So maybe once I scrape away some of that uh, oxide, the unreacted oxides, um, I might be able to find something. So that was my hope, is that I'd be able to at least get something between the thermite and uh, the oxide material. And that's why I packed it in and I made it uh, as dense as I could before uh, placing it Anyhow, oh yeah, I guess uh, I get to take a temperature reading. Wow, even on the lower part, it's fairly homogeneous. It's uh, move it around. I had it up at sixty at one point. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's kind of amazing uh, how well that cools down from the very surface and then as you get in where yeah it was last molten and uh, insulated by the sand I guess though the sand is solid and would be carrying away the heat through thermal conductivity but um, anyhow yeah I'm gonna take this apart and try to find anything anything that glows uh, I'll be uh, placing uh, samples of it underneath my microscope and hopefully there's something there. I, I know that thermite burnt quite well for uh, you know, pretty fine spot too. So yeah, I'll keep my hopes up.